So the time that we're looking for tonight is 4.06 for 1500. That's the Olympic trials qualifying time. It's crazy that 4.06 is the Olympic trials qualifying time. It's fast. I mean, I just remember years ago, Corey McGee, once you made the team, had to, I, I think the world's time was, was slower than what it's going to take to even get to the trials now. And that's something that is a consistent theme throughout track and field, of course, you know, up and down, but really specifically in women's U.S. distance running right now. You look at the times that it would have taken to make the team 20 years ago compared to what the 10th best athlete is doing today, and they're not that far off. It's really unbelievable how quickly they've climbed the ladder that they have, you know, up the competitiveness. And a lot of that has to do with just the opportunities that are now out there. The training groups, you know, something that is essential to giving athletes support in order to keep doing it long after college. Just they keep popping up one after another and it's adding to the depth of American distance running very, very quickly. Right. You don't necessarily need to win an NCAA title in order to get some sort of help within within the sport um keep your eye on the pacer it's meredith rizzo from track she'll be in the tracksmith singlet so in lane one we have lizzie bird in lane two leanne farber in lane three danielle aragon lane four grace barnett lane five ashley matan lane six laura galvin lane seven megan manzi lane eight katherine gillespie lane nine marissa howard lane 10 molly suro Lane 11, Jenna Hinkle. Lane 12, Dana Mecki. Lane 13, Amanda Eccleston. Lane 14, Bailey Myers. Well, they're not in lanes anymore, Kyle, but... When I started... <laughs> hip numbers, you realize it after you... When I started. <laughs> so they're looking at about 65 mid per 400 would give them a 406. And immediately up towards the front, the, the person that we're really watching is in third right now, Amanda Eccleston. Right in front of her, I believe that is Laura, Laura Galvin. Galvin Laura Galvin Hoka. is looking actually possibly to break her national record yes. for Mexico. She has run 4.10.53. She's got a gold medal in the 5,000 meters from the 2019 Pan American Games. And her most recent race, she went up in distance. She ran 31.54 for PR at the Sound Running Meet last December. And then behind those athletes, you have Leanne Farber, who you spoke of earlier, Long Island native, special shout out there, of course. As they come through 500 meters in 124, I missed the first 400, but I'm confident that um, those at home saw it, I hope. And the Rabbit's doing a great job. The way that they're strung out right now is exactly what you want to be. You want to be able to hug that rail, the bricks. Let's talk about the bricks. The bricks are the hot new thing in track and field. <laughs> I think we saw uh, Bowerman run really well with bricks as their guardrails, and so we decided to follow suit. Now moving up on Le Leanne Farber is Catherine Gillespie moving into third behind the rabbit as they came through 700 meters in about 158. Catherine Gillespie is trying to capture a little bit of that hometown luck. Three-time Big 12 champion, the Texas school record holder in the mile. She ran for Harvard for two seasons before transferring to Texas. 216 at 800 meters. So they're a hair slower than they were probably looking for, but the beautiful thing about the 1500 is the ability to close. This is so interesting to see just how tightly compact this field is. Yeah, and you know, you can see uh, Lauren and Amanda starting to etch up onto the rabbit just as she stepped off 900 meters in, which means that they're feeling good and they could sense that that pace was starting to slow. And now it's about who's gonna take over and make this honest. You can't allow a pace to lag for 100, 200 meters as you decide, is it time to kick yet? You just have to keep going. At the, the margins of success at a race like this is so razor thin and Amanda Eccleston has now pushed to the front as they're coming up to 400 meters to go. Megan Manzi is also in there as well. Megan Manzi is now in fourth place. They hit the bell 307, so they're going to need a heroic close to hit that Olympic trials qualifying standard, but I do not think that it's going to be a necessary thing in order to hit your qualifying uh, mark because they will fill out the field. Right. So just because you don't hit 406 does not mean you will not make the Olympic trials. And it is Amanda Eccleston still up front looking very, very strong. Galvin. 
Lauren Galvin is sitting in her pocket, looking great as that 200 meters is about 32 high, 339. So they won't run 406, but now it is a matter of how quick can they go this final 100 meters as they go neck and neck in the last 100 meters to get as close as possible. And what was the Mexican national record? The Nas Mexican national record is 410.53. I think it's gonna be barely close. It's gonna be tight as she's coming up on Amanda Eccleston. Eccleston sensing her. Does she have a response? Galvin sees the clock. Does she get, she falls just outside the Mexican national record, close to her personal best. Looks like about 4.12. And that's 412.8 for Galvin, 412.89 for Eccleston. Laura Galvin, 412.89, I believe. 416.28 for Manzi. You know, that pace just didn't go out quite as hot as they would have probably hoped. 412.80 is the official time that we're now seeing. 412.8 for Amanda Eccleston. Danny Aragon, 414.9 for Empire Elite. Meg Manzi. In fourth place, 416. And here's the replay from that final turn. Amanda Eccleston tried to hold her off. And Laura just pulled away, had that little extra gear. She doubled back at the sound running meet in the 5K and the 10K, now showing a little bit of 1500 meter speed here. I believe Amanda ran a 416 a week or two ago and had pledged and had encouraged all of her followers on Instagram to pledge a certain dollar amount for every second that she got under. So some money was raised there. And we're going to toss it now over to Emma, who's got Lauren.